Then we get our bolt. This one's a 12 by 75 millimeter sleeve anchor. Uh, usually I like to not hit the nut, but in this case they don't really give you an option. So I'll just try and be gentle when I'm hammering it in. Uh, and because this style of anchor will fasten regardless of whether it's actually against the rock, you really got to make sure it's hammered all the way in before you start tightening that nut. Because otherwise, you could have a tight bolt and a loose hanger. Right, so good and, good and tight. I like to use a socket. And when you tighten, you want to use nice, smooth action, because uh, otherwise you can get galling or the, the, the thread will kind of weld together. Okay, so that is a nice sound. Uh, I like to go for that kind of sound on my hangers, uh, because I don't normally carry a torque wrench with me. Uh, but basically, it's, it's as hard as you can comfortably get with a short-handled spanner like that. So the spec sheet of this bolt says it should be torqued to 40 newton meters, which seems like an awful lot. I don't even know if I can get that with this, this little tool. So I'm going to check on my uh, torque wrench here, my torque meter, and just see how much we can get. So that's 40 newton meters. That was really hard. Even with a big breaker bar like this, it's still pretty hard. So uh, I think if you just have a little one like this, you can probably go as hard as you want, or as hard as you can. And there you go. That is the sound of a properly torqued climbing bolt. Don't know what note that is, but God, it sounds nice. Scratches later.